Excuse me. Hey y'all. How are y'all? Hope y'all okay because I am not. I mean, I am, but it's just early. It's 10 o'clock. And I'm here alive and alert and reporting to you guys for Trayvon Tuesday. Now, here's the key key about today's little um, post, if you will, that we found. This post is everything. When I tell you I was reading this and I fell out twice reading these little, um, little kiki. Hold on, let me pull it up. It's from the Washington Post. This was September 30th. That was yesterday, right? No, that was two, three days ago. Something like that. Okay, so here's the, basically what's the gist of it all. There's some DNA discrepancies going on and all the DNA found on George Zimmerman's shirt and jacket. Okay, so here's the post. Get into it. Um, start down here. Okay, here we go. There are 47 stains tested on in between his shirt, George Zimmerman's shirt, and his jacket. Okay? 47 stains. This is about to get real mathematical, so get your pens and paper out and keep notes, okay? Now, of the 16 stains on his shirt, 14 gave off chemical indications of being blood, okay? So, of the 16 stains on his, that were found on his shirt, 16 out of 47 stains found all together, 14 of them were blood. Now, all matched Zimmerman's DNA profile. So all 14 little blood droplets, droplets on his shirt was his blood, okay? Now, of the 37 stains that were found on his jacket, 17 of them were found to be blood. So 17... No. Out of the 47 stains, 31 were found on the jacket, and out of those 31 on the jacket, 17 were found to be blood. But, here's the key key. The other 9 of the 17 stains, wait, sorry, let me get this right. 9 of the 17 stains on this jacket were George Zimmerman's. Now, the remaining 8 this is this is when stuff gets starts getting real confusing, okay? So nine out of seventeen, right, was George's. Okay? George blood on his jacket. Now these other eight is when it's about to get fishy. And they label them by numbers or letters, I mean. Okay? So stain E, which was found on the jacket, was the um the blood was found to be George Zimmerman's, and also another person that cannot be determined. They, they didn't say it was Trayvon. They said it wasn't Trayvon, so it was another person. So it couldn't, but they couldn't be determined, so you can't say who it is. Now, stain I, get this, show the presence of at least two individuals. Zimmerman was the major contributor, but Trayvon was excluded as a possible contributor to the mixed DNA profile, meaning... There was somebody else at the scene of this crime when it went down, apparently, because there's blood from another host found on his jacket that wasn't Trayvon's, and he is one of the contributors. So it's like it's like a chromosome, if you will. Like you know, you put two chromosomes together, and it makes like I guess one something like that. <laughs> Y'all know I'm not. I'm a professional. I'm, a, I'm, I'm. I dance for a living. I don't have to think. So, yeah. But basically, as they explained it here, it was George's blood and someone else's blood. It wasn't Trayvon's, and it was already George's, so we know he was there. And the other person, they haven't identified yet, but it is of another person, basically. So somebody else was there. And somebody else was in an altercation, apparently, because they had their blood on this jacket. Either that or some shit went down prior that George don't, ain't been talking about where he got into another scuffle or something. You know, I just don't know. Okay, so staying in show the presence of at least two individuals. Zimmerman was the major contributor. And the partial minor DNA profile match was that of Trayvon. 
saying you show the presence of at least two individuals. Trayvon is a possible contributor to a DNA mix, but no determination can be made about the possible contributions of Zimmerman to the DNA profile. Stain BB show the presence of at least two individuals. The major and minor contributors to the DNA profile cannot be determined, but Zimmerman is included as a possible contributor. No determination could be made about the possible contributions of Trayvon. The DNA data from Stain B were deemed insufficient for inclusion purposes. While the results were <laughs> consistent with the presence of a male individual, no determination could be made on whether the male was Trayvon or Zimmerman. Um, is this the last one? Because I'm sick of this. The DNA data from stain Z and the stain G were not interpretable. While there was a presence of a male individual in stain Z, so it was either Trayvon, George, or this random other person, whom of which we don't know who is yet, there was also the possible presence of a non-human DNA. Why did I... I didn't read that the first time. Is this the result of contamination? Mm. Of the 47 stains tested in the presence of the blood on Zimmerman's shirt and jacket, Trayvon was a partial minor DNA profile in one stain and a possible contributor in another. So basically, he only, Trayvon's blood was only found three out of 47 stains on this, the jacket. So unless Trayvon was wearing gloves or a bonnet or something, you know, there would have been more DNA found on George's clothes or something. Because, you know, there's DNA in your hair and in your hands and, you know, and, you know, body hair and stuff like that. So d DNA can be found in almost anything. So he had to be, like, wrapped up like a fucking mummy in order to not get no DNA off him, which leads us to, like, completely throw the whole, um, what's it called, self-defense claim out the window because if he was fighting you off, they would have found more DNA on your on your body, on your jacket, on your shirt, on your pants, on your head, something. But three out of forty seven DNA little samples found and only three of them was of him. Trayvon. So that's just going to this case is just getting fishier and fishier as the days go by. So um let me know what y'all think in the down below bar. I'll put the link to the Washington Post in the Gotcha Gotcha bar so you guys can read it for yourselves and get into it. All right, y'all. So I'm going to um, get in the shower and get ready to go because I have class. All right, y'all. So peace.